<laughs> I'll give you your privacy. <laughs> There we go. Back. <laughs> hi, Gus. I'm going to say hi, Gizmo. Hi, Hello, everybody. Everyone. <laughs> oh, gosh. My dishwasher's going. Let me try to shut it off. Thanks for pinning that, Kyle. Thank you so much. YouTube doesn't like to, uh, to share her very much. Gizbop. He is so, such a beautiful bird. They're um both these birds right now are a little bit like tired. We can never predict when they're gonna be um talking. So um, you give Emily the uh turkey. Are you gonna play with that? <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna play with a toy, yes? We can just do playtime. What about this one? Wanna play with this one? Wanna get it? Get it? Wow, you're active. You're a lazy boy. Get it. <laughs> nope. Damn oh, no. Say hi to Gizmo. Hey, Cross. Say hi, Gizmo. Yeah, he is. Let me get you going. Here we go, Cross. You're over here. Are you over here. Say hello. There we go. Go say hi to everybody. Say hello, Gib. Okay, hang on, dude. What where you go? Hang on, let me unzoom. Okay. Can you do it? I'm gonna say hello. Say hello. You away from that. There we go. Mummy <laughs> move it. There we go. What you doing? Here, mommy will give you an almond. You want an almond? Mmm. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he just went, oh, my God. <laughs> he almost sounds like... like when he dropped something. Do you want to What happened? You have another little piece there. There you go, Kaz. Got to... Oi! Uh-oh. What happened, Giz? Oh, you look... You took a whole bunch, you sneaker. Yeah, <laughs> a whole bunch. She's, she's got to watch how much uh, almond she has. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Hello. Um, Kyle's in the chat. He'd be in the chat. <gasps> Why are you throwing it? Do you want the red one? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Not these two again, I know. Both <laughs> of them have been regurgitating and trying to nap. What are you doing? Do you want this bit? Hey, everything is okay with Cosmo. Um, a lot of people don't know her story on here. We are Cosmo's second daughters. Cosmo was owned um, since she was a baby till three years old. My cousin's, uh, my husband's cousin owned her. And uh, so when she got Cosmo, she had to make sure, like she had no children. So she had to make sure that if anything happened to her, um, who she can give um, in a will um, to Will Cosmo to. Since my husband has kids and we have grandchildren, um, his cousin thought uh, it would be wise if anything did happen to her um, that she will will my husband Cosmo. 
and Cosmo was a baby, and these birds can live 60 to 80 years. Um, she phoned up my husband, asked him if he would take Cosmo if anything happened to her. Uh, we said yes, um, thinking that we had at least 30 years um, since she was young. Um, but unfortunately, uh, she got sick, had a stroke, um, and Cosmo was three. Uh, she was hospitalized for a while, and that's when Cosmo started plucking. And then um, she later uh, later on uh, passed. So these birds are very sensitive. Mm -hmm. um, so she mourned the loss of her mom, and she picked even more. So by the time we got to pick her up, she was already plucking. And once these birds start plucking, it is actually hard to get them to stop. Um, it is, for sure. Yeah. It becomes a habit. It does. It's a bad habit. So she, um, but when they start plucking, actually, you're supposed to take them to an avian vet immediately to get them checked to see if they're plucking out of um, a health issue. In Cosmo's case, she is very healthy. Like last year alone, I had her in the vets five to six times. This year already, I've had her in there about three times. Like last night, she just, she she hurt herself a little bit, uh, but she is okay. Um, but she'll be seeing the vet another 11 days to get a recheck, and then she'll be getting, doing a gram strain for her stool. But she's always, um, always keeping her close-eyed with her vets, and they're avian vets, so they're special vets. Um, so Cosmo, when I did get her to be back on track, she was all fluffy. If you see the fluff on her shoulder, she was all like that, except for her head. She always, always had, uh, feathers on her head. So she has gained quite a bit of feathers back, um, since she's been with me and her avian vet is excited that she gained all these feathers back because mm -hmm. she says normally they don't gain these feathers back. So she's ecstatic about that. And Cosmo's um, blood work, her skin tests, everything is healthy and clean. So she is healthy. Uh, she would just be in this bad habit for probably the rest of her life. She would never be fully feathered like Gizmo. I, I totally doubt it. Uh, vet doesn't, vet's amazed on how many feathers she has gained back. So, um, but she is healthy and she is okay. And uh, she has a great bond with me and she's happy. And that's all I can say. Like she's, she may look the way what everybody, you know, oh, what's wrong with her? There's absolutely nothing wrong with her. Exactly. She's just gotten yeah. off habit. People are so quick to judge when they don't know the story behind and um, yeah, Cosmo is always going to be um, not have trust issues, but um, that that fear that whenever you go, you may never come back too. So it's it's, it's always going to be like an endless trigger for her. It is. Um, it is. And because every know, time that, I do go out, yep. She like I know Emily. Like every you've seen it yourself. So if I go out and she goes zoom there and zoom back, I know mm -hmm. I'm going to be safe. That she's okay with me going out and that she'll yeah. be coming I'll be coming home with put it this way no feathers on the ground but if she gives me the old stink eye and says go get I know she's mad and I know yeah. I'll be coming home the feathers yeah yeah it's like one in three parrots will pluck um the vets always said to us that they were shocked that gizmo wasn't a plucker but Gizmo's story, some of you might not know, Gizmo Gizmo was caged for 16 years, but it was from when he was a baby, so he knew no other life, so that's why he didn't pluck. It'd be a very sim yeah, it'd be a very similar situation if he was to come out of my care, if I was to go to hospital and never come home, he would be, you know, devastated. So, um, you know. It is actually a miracle that he didn't pluck from being in that condition. I know. And, and and to think that he had no stimulation as well. He had no toys. Um, he had nothing. So um, although he doesn't often speak on lives, his vocabulary is amazing. He just, um, he must have just kept himself entertained by speaking. Yes, because if you don't know, toys are very important. You may get a toy, but don't expect it to be hanging around because what those toys are meant for is for them to chew 
rather yeah. chew, keep their mind on that instead of their feathers. Yep. Is that clay? So it's a miracle that he kept all his, his uh, feathers for having no toys, no communication, being in a cage 24 seven. Yeah. So, you know, it's a miracle that he didn't pluck. I love, I mean, I know it's heartbreaking for you when she grows her feathers back and she plucks, but I couldn't imagine Cosmo any other way. That just to me is her. I obviously don't want her in pain and I don't want you to feel sad. And it would be great if she could be fully feathered, but Cosmo's unique and I just love that little fluffiness about her. Just don't go Never. too far, Cosmo. If I ever did do a plushie like you guys did, she would have to have her imperfect feathers. Oh, she, for the she would have to. She would have she to. She wouldn't be a Cosmo without the imperfect feathers. <laughs> oh, yes. She'll have to have those little fluffy ones hanging out of the side, see? Oh, I love <laughs> I love it. Hey, We're Cos keep in contact with them, actually, this company, because um, people would love it. People what was that? It. We'll get you in contact with the company that's doing Gizmo's plushie. Yeah, everybody asked me for it. Yeah, um, I think it'd be adorable. And I want one myself. Sorry, guys, I'm not ignoring you. I just get so deep in conversation when I'm passionate about something. Yes, and we are all passionate about things. And we yes. know how much Emily is very passionate about passionate about all this. Very not, like not that we were not all, but Emily is like right focused. It just it, it's one of my biggest like things that makes me sometimes want to give up social media with Gizmo, where people automatically think and judge your lives when they know nothing yeah. about it. And to see like the comments that are made about Cosmo when I know Cosmo couldn't be any more loved at home than she is. And for people to be rude um, and, and just guess, oh, you must be a smoker because she coughs like that. Well, you don't know, <laughs> you don't know. So don't. This was on last night's live. Somebody posted something like this. Yes. And yes. I don't smoke. I quit smoking. I did smoke. I quit smoking in 2008 and I didn't get her until 2017. Exactly. And she's a master mimicry. Um, she mimics, my mom has COPD. So she coughs after my mother and she probably coughs off of her old owners too, which I know that yeah. did smoke. Yeah. Um, Gizmo is, um, he's preening his feathers. So I don't know if you've ever touched a bird before, but um, when they have a feather grown through, they have to like, almost like, it's like a straw. So imagine a, like a, um, a feather with a straw over the top of it. They have to kind of like slowly pluck away at that, um, that straw and, and slowly release the feather. It's hard work for them. It is hard. Yes, congratulations on quitting, Jew girl said. Thank you. It was the best thing. Oh, Giz, don't you nap now? You do your talkings. <laughs> yes, oh. you know what Kyle's saying. Coffee is not always associated with smokers. There's many, like like my mom. She has a chronic cough because of COPD. Mm -hmm. She used to smoke over 30 years ago, but this is the developing thing, what she's um, got diagnosed with for the last few years. And that's because of smoking from many years ago. Yeah. And you don't even have to get COPD from smoking. You could be, it could be environmental. Exactly. Exactly. I knew someone who died of, um, of lung cancer um, and they never even picked up a cigarette in their life, but they used to be um, in a band when smoking was legal. Mm -hmm. um, and and through like I think he was on the like it was a jazz band and he he was like on some trumpet or something but he breathed in so much smoke. So yeah. And then you got you got the the old waitresses because people used to smoke in the restaurants all the time. You could, you could have yeah. like a non-smoking waitress who would eventually get lung cancer because of being in that environment 
or you got a um, firefighter. Yep. Not a non-smoking firefighter, but having to go into these buildings. Sure, they have respiratory things, um, equipment to help them, but you're always exposed to something. Definitely. Definitely. I know a firefighter who passed on who did not smoke and um, from lung cancer. So, you know, people assume, and this was, this, this guy's was, is all because of somebody from yesterday. They made a rude comment, um, assumption that I smoke, um, but I don't. No, and we're just as sensitive as our birds. So we're flying together. <laughs> so yes. please don't say anything horrible. Library. I do everything every day, just like Emily do, does. Like we stress about our bird. We make sure that our bird is safe because birds are actually susceptible to a lot of dangers. There's Teflons, there's scent, there's candles, there's this, there's, I could go on forever. Birds are susceptible for everything. So we're always constantly looking out to keep our birds safe. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a, it's a nonstop thing every single day trying to and like, air purifiers i was just going on with about the other live i didn't know uh, up until recently that uh they want you to have an air purifier for certain birds who are dusty african grace are dusty mm -hmm. um cockatoos are dusty i think it's the cockatiels are dusty but they recommend you have an air purifier but an air purifier is not always safe there is stuff in like ionizer ozone plasma wave um what's the other one uv light that could potentially harm your bird because they have such a small respiratory system. Mm -hmm. uh, so you go into these bird groups. I'm no expert. I'm telling you right now, I'm no expert. I don't claim to be an expert. I'm learning myself. Mm -hmm. and I, But I do follow this one group, number one, African Grey Lovers. And they have files and stuff about these things. And the first thing when I went to see, oh, what kind of pair of air purifier should I buy? Well, first things first, a big banner. Do not buy anything with ozone or ionizer. Wow. Right? It could it could uh, harm your bird. Give it, um, like, say, pneumonia or a respiratory um, ailment, right? So right away, it's like, oh, what's this, right? So trying to find one, an air purifier without those things is, is very hard. Yeah, it's scary, actually, because it's not like there's, there's not a lot of education with birds. And um, uh, oh. No one can say they're an expert because we learn things every day. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, I think there really needs to be way more education, especially with like um, the kitchen and the cooking. Um, I, I found out recently a bird died um, because she cooked a chicken. You know, those bags, you can have a chicken in a bag and just put it straight in the oven. She did that yeah. and a bird died. So a lot of people don't even know that. They just, and like bags of popcorn that you put in the microwave, you can't do that. It's, it's, no. you know. Or the cedar plank, the fish with the cedar plank, that's extremely, cedar cooked cedar is extremely dangerous for these guys. Oh, see, I didn't know that one. Yeah. I knew about the bag thing because I, I read about that about three years ago um, on that African Grey site, the number one African Grey lovers. They had a lady on there um, devastated, which I would be too. I don't blame her. The only thing was she did, she used that bag thing for the first time to cook a turkey. Mm -hmm. And she lost three quarters of her flock. She had 11 and she oh, was. Wow. Only three. Yeah. She says, you know, she started hauling the birds outside for air. And that was the, yeah. So it was that bag thing. So, yeah, these guys are more sensitive. So what we're saying is like. Me, I know myself, and I know Emily's like this. We're always constantly, every second of the day, making sure that our bird is safe. Our birds mm -hmm. are safe. Yeah, because we've just brought a new air fryer, <laughs> and it's still in the box until the like it's a bit better weather in in like Calgary. Because I'm too, you know, because you know when you first use an appliance, it's too scary. So I'm waiting to do it in the garage where I can just like run it for an hour. It's like called gas off. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Everything new, what is heated, like an air fryer, toaster, or whatever, you cannot um, start it up near your bird or in the same house. You, It's best that you run it for a while outside your home. 
because it's called a gas off it. Like it's like a factory. What's put on the like a, a chemical? What's put onto the elements? So when exactly. that burns off, it's toxic. And any and I know like I think anything that because dogs are very similar. They're obviously a bit stronger, but anything that kills a bird, I know they're way smaller. It can't be good for us. It really no. can't be good for us. So like cooking a chicken in a bag in the oven. Just the the chemicals that come off that bag kills a bird, and then we continue to eat it. So then I obviously will never do that again. And it's it's making me change a few lifestyle things for me too. And it's you for know. the good, exactly. And like candles, scented candles, we don't have them anymore. But if it kills our birds, then it's you know we're still breathing that in. So it's you That's know right. it's nice to have nice smelling candles, but we've just got fake pretty ones now. Yeah, you get the fake ones or, you know, like Glade plugins, aerosol sprays, all that kind of, you know, like we're like your laundry detergent. You wouldn't even think you, you always like used to use and say Tide, but you have to get unscented. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just said we're boring the birds to sleep. Gizzy's just lazy. He's just had a snack and he's just he's in potato mode. <laughs> and it's like, all right, all right, already. <laughs> oh gosh sorry guys sorry Todd. You. we're just trying to keep you alive that's all and a lot of and we're trying to educate the viewers we're trying to educate everybody people who don't know on how sense because every there's people oh i want a bird but you rethink and see if this is the lifestyle that you want because yeah. there's a lot of change yeah Hey, mommy will move from, I move <laughs> away from her because she talks better if I'm under the room. Okay, all right, I'll, um, I'll go too. Because I'll get you a snack to put up your little butt up. Want a snack? You get one, let me take these off. Okay. Neil, iPad? Is that good? Oh, Mustachio. You're going to eat it though, that's the question. Or you can't have more. <laughs> want some apple? I can give you apple. Do you want to try apple? You want to eat it? Good boy.
I love the sound of him eating an apple. Oh, what do I hear? I hear Dismal has a oh, he has an apple. Mm. You want a new cherry? New cherry? Oh God, <gasps> snack? What's Gizmo's favorite food? I would say anything that's bad for him. He loves- You have that one there, when you want to. Carbs. Oh, peanut you butter, love he loves food. peanut butter. I'm not leaving that there because I just realized what you did over that scenario. Here. They can't see each other on this live. Um, on some of the other lives they can, like on a different platform. They don't know. Do you? It's crazy how powerful their beaks are. Hi, Nicole. He loves pistachios. Oh, <laughs> Hi, Cos. Oh, yes, the peanuts in the shell. Oh, you flick apple at my face. <laughs> Peanut butter and apples, yes. They do go. Thank you. I think she's going to talk. I'll let her talk. Is that good?
Try it. You try? Why do you want to go to war? Hmm? What is this? You want this card?
Go do something. What is your? What is? Oh, it's all the stuff in there. Yeah. Giz isn't really talking much at the minute. We're actually struggling to to even get any content out for you guys. This malt has really kicked his red butt. We don't eat the phone, do we? Oh my. Ready? There he is. What did you do? What did you do? What? 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 The water.
but the water. But the water. Bye.
Are you going now? You waking up? The birds. Did you kiss yes. bird? Good boy. <laughs> Did you give bird a kiss? Yes. How come you're not talking?
Which what? Hold on. Hold on. Stuck. <laughs> Cosmo, can you beatbox? Beatbox Cosmo. <laughs> yeah. Growl. Yeah, oh, a little growl? All right. You want some apple? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> All right, guys, wake up. Get word. We're gonna have to be loud. Forgive me, because he's don't talk unless I talk to you. Can you dance? He's not. He's not. You are the greatest baby bird. He's not. He's not. Come on. Talk to your friend. She wants you to talk to her. It's matter. You can make that sound. Boop. Beep. What? Yeah, you no, you've you got to do more. Not us, you. Or? No, you do more, not me. I train you. Watch out when you're picking. Do you want a stash here? Ah. <laughs> Ooh. Do you want a stash here? You want one? You get to pick one. Come on. Oh, good choice. Oh, that was Giza's sound. That was Giza's sound. Aww. She said he was doing his sound. Nice, Cosy. Good go, Cos. <laughs> Cosmo. We love you. Yeah.
Mom. 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 That was a giz. That, I, that was his lasers. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah. Lasers. That was yeah. exactly the same. Oh, hi, Sasha. Thank you for joining his flan flock. I said flan flock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I can call it a flan flock. Yay, we appreciate that. People like you who keep us going just like for... I might put them in the kitchen. Help us keep going. Oh, uh, he's going to talk in a minute. He is. We can feel it. We always know we can feel Gizmo's energy. He does this for everybody. He's like, who, who's willing to stick around long enough for the show? Aren't you, Giz? Are we paused? There we go. Are we back? My um my oh, yes, we're back. Sorry. Um I think I think it's because it's my mom. She gets to break through the do not disturb. <laughs> oh thank you so much, Kathy. We really, 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 thank really you, appreciate that. Guys, can you give Kathy a kiss? Give a kiss. Come on. Give a kiss.
Well, thank you so much, Sasha. Thank you. We really appreciate our fellow Canadian. Kiss, kiss. Don't give a kiss. I'll get you a snack. Okay. I'm just gonna get you out. Hi, guys. Where are you? 
burning all those snacks off. What's this? What's that? Ooh. Yeah. What is it? Water. Hang on, I'm not being them. Why is it snowing? It was plus 11 and now it's snowing. Dang. The weather here, my kids came home from school and it was like plus 11, which in, Bye. oh goodbye, sorry, I won't talk long, which is hot for where we're from. So they put shorts on, went to the park, come back and it's snowing. Hey Giz. You've got a one track mind right now. Okay, so guitar. Let's go. Gizmo, I love you. What? <laughs> Come on, your turn. Your turn. Goodbye. Do you want some apple? You? Bye. Oh, goodbye. Where are you going? Look. Hang on. This is just melted. We just got melted. Do you want what, Giz? Hang on. I can't shut the door. Okay, hang on. A better pirate shoulder bird. Ooh. Who would make the better pirate shoulder bird? Probably Cosmo. Gizmo's a... He moves around so much. Don't you? I'm going now, goodbye. Ugh, the snow is so annoying. I thought we were done. Well, we're supposed to go to snow. You know what sucks is we live on a corner and we have to shovel the whole sidewalk. I hate so. it. I hate living on a corner lot. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weather like there, Cindy? Um, it's beautiful out. Oh wow! Like it was this, beautiful this, earlier. This weekend we had full sun. It was nice and warm. But I seen something. Somebody saying that there's snow coming. There was snow, yeah, we, it says snow on Tuesday. Today has been weird because we had sunshine and literally the kids got in shorts, went out to the park. While they were at the park, it rained and we had thunder <laughs> and now we have snow. I so hear... Is that all the, all the, yeah, all the elements? I think so. All at once. <laughs> I find um, after the eclipse... I don't know. I found that the uh, the sun was a little bit brighter. Am I just imagining that? No, it was way brighter. You noticed I mean, it too, right? Yeah. And we live in Calgary. So Calgary is like one of the sunniest places in the world. So even like when we've got snow and everything, it's just it's always sunny. But yesterday it was so sunny. Yeah. It's like after the eclipse, I found it was like extra bright. Yeah, other people are saying it was brighter too. So it's not just you liked, us. You liked my uh, video on what they put, though. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. I was amazed that I actually, um, 
put one of the glass the glasses lens on top oh. of the camera. See, we didn't bother getting the glasses because we 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 only had I think fourteen percent of it. Oh, Judy, oh. you was in Texas. Wasn't that the best place to be in the world? In Texas, I'm sure it was. He said here in Canada, like we're just like a, um, I would say about 45 minutes away from Niagara Falls. But right. Niagara Falls was the best place here in Canada. Right. And everybody flocked over there. It was like the highway was crazy. We lived near the highway. Mm -hmm. And when we had to take cause to the doctors yesterday, yeah. we were late. And on the way back, say about 8.30, 9 o'clock, the uh, traffic going towards Toronto was still back to back. Oh, like it was gosh. like slow. It was crazy. Um, and that's like they sold out. All the hotels sold out like months ago. Uh, they had big concerts happening in Niagara Falls. And their son, when the eclipse fully happened, it was yep. supposed to sit uh, for over three minutes. And where I am, it was like 90 seconds. Oh. Ooh, and just yeah. a half an hour before um, before the full eclipse, that's when the, cl the clouds finally broke because this whole weekend, Saturday was sun sunny, Sunday was beautiful. Monday morning, woke up with clouds and chances of rain. <laughs> right. And like people paid all that to go to Niagara Falls and everything. Oh and, gosh! Yeah. So, but but like I said, about a half an hour before the full eclipse, where the moon was just right on top of the sun, um, so the clouds cleared and it was maybe uh, the moon maybe a quarter away through the sun. So we oh. got to see the eclipse. Thank goodness. Did you just hit yeah, Cosmo? Back. Cosmo is a plucker. Right now, she is preening. She's not plucking. She's preening. Cosmo will always be a plucker. She is uh, very healthy. Um, she gets vet checked all the time. Um, she started plucking before I got her uh, because of first mom. She passed on, and she started plucking when she was in the hospital. It could have been out of boredom. Where's my mom, who she she's with every day? And then by the time I picked her up when we inherited her, she was all fluffy but she has gained about 70 percent of her feathers back and she gets vet checked regularly i've just seen a comment in the uh in the chat but she is healthy um blood work skin test crop test you name it she's healthy you good girl oh einstein went live with the eclipse oh i missed that oh. yeah i seen that actually i didn't see the eclipse part but i've seen that he was live what are you talking about? Thanks, April. She doesn't need vitamins. She does not need vitamins. The sure vitamin uh, test came out great. So she's not lacking in vitamins. She will be a plucker for the rest of her life because it is a behavioral thing now. Once they start plucking, they pluck all the time. She gets plenty of fruit. Do you own birds? Sorry? Uh, somebody's going on that she needs vitamins, that she needs more fruit. Like somebody's being a, her doctor. Oh. Uh, no, Cindy, Cindy, Cindy follows the vet's advice where she's done everything possible to... to to stop this it's not going to stop it's become a habit i'm talking blue i'm talking Are you? i'm a good girl no you're a good boy good yeah you tickle up there her vet doesn't want her using felt colors not for cosmo she's not that type of bird who can have something on her like that She gets back checked all the time. She knows what kind of vitamins she needs or she doesn't need. And at this point, she doesn't need anything. Um, she had skin Ooh. test to see if it's a yeast infection, um, stool samples, blood work, you name it. Everything's fine. She's on organic food. 
She gets her fruits and vegetables and grains every day. And I do what my vet tells me to do. Okay. She is happy. She has gained 70% of her feathers back since I've got her. So. Big boo. What are you doing? Yeah, Niagara Falls. I love it too, Kathy. Peekaboo, I hear you, Bloob. Cosmo loves Bloob. Bloob loves Cosmo. I'm surprised, oh gosh, I'm surprised he wasn't talking sooner. And you know what's funny? Because Cosmo loves Frank too, and he's an IRN. IRN. He's even been saying Frank's name. Aww. So I wonder if she just, you know, in general loves the breed as well. Yeah, maybe she's a sucker for that annoying little vibe. That's so adorable, <laughs> Blue. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I'm just cleaning this up. Hang on. Don't get me. Thanks, I'm Lizzie. Cleaning. Can I play with the balls? Yeah, she's fluffy. She has fluffy areas. But she also has new feathers coming in. See her chest? Feathers coming in. Do you want a snapple? You should, do you want a snapple? I think she loves the ring neck voice too. Get the ball. And play football. Come on then. Get it. Yes. You have to come down. Peekaboo. See, Kay says, where's Carol Baskin? Oh, my gosh. Oh. She, she dropped that F-bomb a couple times last live. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. F. Carol Baskin. So it's really hard because they pick up on what they want to pick up on, and sometimes it's the bad stuff. Yes. So when Kyle burps, he's not picked up on the burp, but he will say sometimes, I'll say, freaking hell, he says that, but in the other way. <laughs> and I know it's the last couple of days Giz has been saying that. And also, my oi. Oi. But he only does his oi in the morning. <laughs> so far. They're so funny. Giz, you can't and say bad words. They'll pick up the stuff what you don't want them to pick up. Oh yeah. You can't you can't like pick and choose what they pick up on. Just like the F Carol Baskin, but the real <laughs> F word. Uh, we didn't teach her that. We watch back to back episodes of the Tiger King. Oh yeah. And you can't that's just why watch she one. has that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why she has that even when she says it. F. Carol Baskin. Like that, like that country voice. That's because that's all Joe Exotic. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's, that's probably one of my favorite things she says. <laughs> so the, the, that video I showed you earlier, I still got to so, show uh, Sarah. Do you think I can use that on YouTube and Facebook? Because Was that the sound? Word. Uh, the shut up when she said, told Sarah to shut up. Oh, yes. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. I it's just don't worse. want. It's Yeah. I, I listen to, like, you, you try and, like, keep tabs on what your kids are listening to. But sometimes there's some YouTubers that 
that they love. That's why I haven't got it on the kids thing because they're always with me. But sometimes the language they use and there's nothing like they don't get anything wrong with their accounts. I every time I do like a YouTube um, video of her, though, I say it's not for kids just to be safe. Yeah, we do, too. But Facebook, I don't I don't think they have that option. No, I think Facebook. Oh, my gosh. I I saw some awful things on Facebook. I don't think they they care. Okay. I've seen, well, they, like, especially with this war going on, I've seen some awful things. Yes, I have, too. Very disappointing. Yes. I really honestly don't need to see that stuff. No, not at all. Not, especially with children. Exactly. I mean, it's not good with anyone, but when it's children, it kills me. Do you want a statue? Yes, you've Con, had a little statue. No. Hey, no. One second. No. What are you getting frustrated for? Hey, what's the matter? What's the matter? Something was about, about bothering her. Or unless she's getting the uh, sheets. There's still the sheets on that tail. Yeah. There's still a sheath on that tail, so. But she was getting a little bit too aggressive with it. Oh, cozy. But I don't know if she was going to do it or she's trying to get the middle of the sheath out. But something all of a sudden, like I could see it in her eye. I get really bad eczema on my feet. And so, anyway, like it must irritate them as well. So, because they're. <clears throat> almost not used to having those feathers because they've been a continuous plucker. So when they come through, it's probably uncomfortable that they just want to get them out. Yes. And I find that with her, she gets her tail feathers looking so good and then they go. I usually find it for having her for seven years now. She'll grow them in just before Christmas. And then when I have to do some grocery shopping and Christmas mm -hmm. shopping, I come back to no feathers. One at a time. Yeah. Right? So it's so yeah. hard. I cry. I cry every single feather that yeah. I find. I ball my eyes out. It hurts Aww. so bad. And I try not to let her see that because they they like to, She, you know, they, from what I hear is like, you're not supposed to, um, you're supposed to ignore that, but how can you ignore it? Because I know. they'll go off of you. Like it's, yeah, I cry every single time. I would be exactly the same. Guess what you're doing? It's like when she has that full tail too, and it's like you know, one by one is coming out, and it's like you have no choice but you have to go out and shop. Yeah. I, I don't like going out because, you know, she wants me. And I think that, too, is, like, she she knows that I get upset. And she if she doesn't want me to go, she uses it as, like, um, a punishment. Mm. And that's what the vet uh -huh. thinks, too. Like, it's, like, almost like a punishment. You did something I didn't want you to do, so therefore. Like, she'll she'll start trying to pick if... Say my grandson sat on my knee. My husband sat beside me. The cat just walked by me. She, she just can't stand Saber being near me. She right. wants to pluck right away. Like she's gotten mad where at something silly, like a jealousy thing, where she turned around, pluck out a feather, look at me, straight at me, and say, you broke it. Aww. So you're supposed to ignore that, but it, mm -hmm. it like she knows my feelings. She feels what I feel, and she knows that it hurts me. Yeah, yeah. I have to very... sometimes just walk away. You know what I mean? Hi, Fox. Fox, the cutest dog in the West. Mustachio. Guess you just had one. Oh, he got excited to see you. You're hungry. Okay. And then when people comment about her feathers, that, you know, they don't know her. They don't know the struggles we've been through. They don't know how much feather she has gained. Yeah, I know. And no matter how many times you pin her, you still get people that completely... And then you can argue with them, and they they, they always got to have another answer. Yeah. Because I get and that. Like, thing. he should be in a tree, and I'm like, he's scared of trees. <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, yeah, but he needs to be wild. I was like, he would die. Like... 
you know, I didn't choose to get him as a little baby. Unfortunately, there's so many birds in captivity. And they, like, people don't understand. Like, we let them go now. They have no survival skills at all. No. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine Cosmo and Gizmo just in the wild? No, I couldn't. They, they would be <laughs> gone within a couple of couple days. Sorry, they but they will. They, they don't have any skills. Like, when they were born outside, the mother actually starts teaching them by, you know, feeding them with worms and all that, regurgitating, all that kind of stuff, how to make a nest, how to do this, how to do that. When they're born in captivity, taken away as an egg and incubated and then hand raised, they have no skills. Like a lot of people, it's like, oh, her, she remembers her, her first mom. Her first mom had feathers. Well, yeah. no, I'm sorry to say, but, you know, she, her first mom was an incubator. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, you know, I'm, that's unfortunate facts. Like I, I wish these guys could be outside enjoying what birds should be doing. Mm hmm. Totally. Me too. Right? And it's not like we actually asked for this because we're the ones who are looking after them. Yep. As the second or third or fourth or even 10th owner. Oh, thank you, Elaine. Yes, well, you just chilling now. I get this a lot. When he's in his cage, people say, shame on you for having a small cage. <laughs> but they only see that part. They only see that part. It's a big and cage. And I'm actually. like, you you clearly knew here because he has all of that and then he has all of that. Even a bigger cage beside and a place thing. And yeah, he's never... and, uh, and, and the thing is, is he's... most of the time he's out of the cage anyway. Oh, he's mostly you, out Amy. of the cage. Yeah, is it? I, I, most of the time... I've, my shoulders have got quite broad now, and I I, I, I tend to ignore it. But that, that's just that odd comment that just really gets you. Yeah. Or, you know, what gets me the most is, like, these people who like to comment and judge her and all that kind of stuff, and you should do this and you should do that, when they don't have a bird themselves. Oh, I know. You're a good boy. <laughs> He's trying to you know, or people who are saying you should do this, like maybe it's good intentions trying to get, do a, a, a good guidance and help you out. Like I, you know, I get that, but I only do what my vet tells me to do. My vet, yeah. I just listen. Like I could have a device and actually I could pull my vet, ask that, hey, I heard about this. Is this true? Can I do this? And she will get back to me and say yay or nay. And yeah. she'll tell me why or why I can't do it. Or yes, that's a good idea. My vet's that's awesome great. like that. Guess you're just throwing your weight around. Come on. I won't even give her food without asking my, like, a certain food until I ask my vet first. Yeah. What are you doing? All right, what are you doing? I'm just what talking. Are <laughs> what are you doing? Do you hear Bloop? What are you doing? Come down here. Come say hi. You're too high up there. This is Cosmo. And that's, of course, Gizmo. Apple. A lot of people are mix, mixing her up that she, she's uh, Apollo, but she, this is Cosmo. I'm talking. I'm talking. You know, he says Snapple. He gets that from Cosmo. Cosmo Kiki, that is like an apple and smackle. He's mixed yeah. together. Oh, you heard her laser, right? Yes. That totally is one. It is. Yeah. It is. I've not seen another great do that laser sound. Yep. She's copying. She's copying Gizmo. <laughs> oh, you give her a kiss. That's cute. Did you hear the kiss, Cos? You won't give kisses back to your friend. I know that's your pussy <laughs> from another nesty's boyfriend, but you can still <laughs> give a kiss back. Yeah. Blue, come here. He's too high for me. He's like, he sits on the light. 
I'm just talking. What you doing? What? 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 You tired, cars? Big buoy. You gotta learn. I. He goes. I see you. You gotta answer the blue. <laughs> huh? I yes, Miss Jones. Cosmo's big brother. That's a good idea. It's funny how these birds know the other bird, and as Gizmo's completely comfortable with Cosmo. Well, I'm just talking, Blue. Okay, you could come talk too. Come <laughs> Um, does he still do the water? His water sounds have changed. He's mixing them up with his lasers now. So it's kind of like water laser sounds. But occasionally he will just do his water. Huh? You found Giz two years ago? Gosh, that's crazy, actually. Oh, my gosh. Do you know what? I think it's like, what's the date today? It's nearly the day he's got today when we rescued him. Do you want an apple? Oh, and this, I think it's the 16th. Giz, you always want some food. I'll have to check that out. Right, Giz, I'll be back, okay? Okay, mommy's going to shut off this light right now. Okay, there you go. Huh? Now you're so much darker. Yeah. I'll just shut it off. It was too long. Yes. Can you turn around? Say hello. I'm just here. I'm just watching you. Oh. <laughs> you 
Yeah. Sorry, pause. Any time for you, ready? Yep.
Down. I'm gonna try and get Boo down. He's high at the minute. He's high. Come on, Boo. The boop. The boop. The boop. Come on. There we go. There he is. See, do, 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 do. Come here. Come here. Say hi. I can't see you. My tripod didn't go that high. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. What you doing, huh? What would happen if they were in the same cage? Probably babies. These two. Boop. What you doing? Huh? Can you even imagine Cosmo and Gizmo babies? They'd be insane. He would be so bright. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. They'd be so crazy. Oh, you That's went to Dairy Queen and still had it in your car. Ah, oh, thank you for taking us to Dairy Queen. I'm actually hungry. And Cosmo beat boxes. Her dad's not in. She usually beat boxes with her dad. That's, That's actually how they grew the bond between the two of them. That's awesome. She literally used to go behind her cage and cry like, Wah! if he walked in the room. Wow. She was so afraid of him. Yeah. And then he just started beatbox beatboxing from another room. Mm -hmm. And then she started mimicking him beatboxing. Then they started doing comp competitions. Then he moved into the same room. And that's what they do almost daily now. They do beatbox competitions, and she's not hiding. She doesn't hide behind the cage anymore. She hears. It's it's amazing on how much of a good hearing birds do have as well. Because mm -hmm. he could be around the corner, and she'll go, Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Wow. And his car would just be coming around the corner. She recognizes my mom's vehicle, my son's vehicle, our vehicle. Because even with my son, he'll be coming home. And I know he's coming home. And then all of a sudden, she's like, JJ's home. And, and it's funny because he's he's the, he's the only one where she, if my son comes, she goes, sup, bro. <laughs> that's the only one she says that to. Yeah, that's funny. See, there's daddy. Daddy, you want to help see if she'll beat off? <laughs> <laughs> Is daddy home? Beatbox. Yes, it's beatbox for daddy. Guess you want to go in the kitchen? That's a. Oh. Thank you, Lois. Thank you, Josh. Oh, Giz, you look cute. You look cute. Okay. We sing a song. I love you, Giz, no, I do. <laughs> you don't want to sing, do you? You just want to chill. Oh, 
you some tea pot. Can you some lunch? It's seven o'clock here and the snow has stopped. The snow stopped, yes. <laughs> now we tried getting beat gives the beatbox but because we're terrible well kyle's not bad at it i'm terrible
like, oh, check it out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Giddy, giddy. <laughs> He's going to talk as soon as we end this. Giz, do beatbox with Cosmo. Come on, Gibbs. Ruby talks more than you, Gibbs. Ruby. I couldn't. Peekaboo. Do you want to come talk to the camera? Come here. Come here, Ruby. Let me do this. <coughs> Man, I have a cough right now. <laughs> oh my. Come say hi. See, peekaboo. What do you say, Booby? Say hi. Hi. Can you say tickle tickle? Can you say tickle tickle, Booby? Everybody, come here. Come here. Good boy. Come here. Ready? 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 Look it. Say, look. Who's that? Who's that? Give everybody a kiss. Say, tickle, tickle. Peekaboo. Good boy. Peekaboo. Your turn. <laughs> tickle, tickle. Peekaboo. Your turn. Can you? Oh, traded birds. Got this one right here. What are you doing? Bird can't handle the attention not being on her. Is going to bed while I'm going to cage. 
kids. You're just giving kisses from your cage. This is Bird. That's actually her name, just Bird. <laughs> we couldn't come up with a name when we got her, huh? And we just kept calling her Bird until we were figuring out a name. And then... <laughs> Lola, anything about Bird. And then we were like, well, okay, we've been calling her Bird for like two weeks now. Let's just stick with Bird. And now I can't think of it. I can't... Like, it's just the perfect name. <laughs> Hi, Doogie. Where are you guys? You're just in your cage. You're just in your cage. He's just chilling in there. Wanting more snacks, even though his bowl is full of snacks. I see you guys. Wait, I'm gonna open this door. What are you doing in there? Huh? What are you doing in there? Just chilling, just taking a break. Taking a little break. I get it, baby. You hungry? Do you want your actual dinner? Yeah? That does. I want dinner. I'm hungry. Cindy, question, are you there? We were thinking about jumping off because we are hungry. It's 7 o'clock, we haven't even fed the kids yet. <laughs> Usually our birds come first, then the kids. That's just... <laughs> yeah, she's tired. She's just snug snuggling up to her. her uh, uh, she's so cute. We do thank you, though, so much, Cindy, for hang like joining us today again. Thanks for actually inviting us. Yeah, we're going to do it way more often now. Yes, we're going to get back into the swing of things and... And do this more often and and everybody who's watching please i i know i pinned the comment but go subscribe to cosmo you will not be disappointed she's got some incredible videos up there already that you can go enjoy she's very very brilliant um and amazing and we've been we've been cosmo has been a friend of ours since the start so yeah yep all the start of our journey she's been a friend since the start so please it's go and support her channel over two years now? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Well, almost two years, right? I remember yeah. when you guys first reached it out. Was <laughs> yeah. It wasn't long after. Yeah. Yep. Before you even put any videos up, you, you guys reached out and you, we started talking. I remember that, actually. Yeah. That was a while ago. It was. Yeah, it I was. think everyone was telling us that um, Cosmo and Cuba used to go live and they said that we had to go check you guys out so we did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it was so cute. I was like amazed with uh, with Gizmo. It's like, I, I even said to Jay, I said, check this bird out. Look at how clear he talks. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't like to do it on the lives all the time. As soon as He's this... not talking much at the minute. Yeah, he, he'll get back into his thing. It's just all the birds are going through the malt. Um, Although Giz is looking, he's been, there's lots of feathers, like it's hard to see because we just cleaned some up today. But he's been dropping loads, like, um, let me actually just show you how many drops. <laughs> yeah. You have one out on me. Are you having that one me, please? Oh my god. Yeah, so good. Oh, a lot of his big ones are gone. Like he, these are just like in the last few days. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He is ever and you can't even tell. I I know. And then Blueby as well, like he's lost. And Bird, Bird, like she loses him pretty a lot as well, but they're more sporadic throughout the year, to be honest. Giz is just going through a big mole. And then, and I could tell some of them are coming in, like he's got some of the smaller ones there that are like, all right, Giz, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I'll show you bloobs as well. Bloobs look the most. I'll get them look like a zombie soon. Yeah. <coughs> Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. Did you ever see those pictures where actually people saved every feather? <laughs> it was an African gray one. And then the, the way they posted it on, like, say, a board. Yeah. With all the feathers where they belong. And then with the tail and everything looked like actual uh, African gray. Wow. Oh, wow. That's so cool. There's a couple of birds in here, but most of these are bloobs. And this is just from, like, this week. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I know. He's not happy in this time. Though. Who, Bloob? Yeah. yeah. But then he knows it's more now. Yeah, I can see some on the floor, even over there, that are on the floor from Bloob. Probably from just this live. But yeah. Indian Rainmakes are kind of interesting because they drop them all, like, very fast. And they um, look awful. They, like, they do them all at, like, one time in the short period. Really? Um, they, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's then they look like, like, his like a zombie. Though. Yeah, they look like a little zombie. It's kind of wow. interesting. Yeah. What about Bird? No, Bird loses. He, he, oh, wait. <laughs> She's losing a lot right now, but she loses them, like, just kind of throughout the year. She's dropping loads right now, though. Yeah. Finding them every, they're everywhere. Does she, dro does she drop, like, Gizmo, or does she drop, like, Blue? Like Gizmo. Like Gizmo. Like Gizmo. Hey, Gizmo. It's night time for Cosmo. Aww. It was fun being on live with you, Giz. Thank mm -hmm. you. I'll just make an announcement quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, and then all of, uh, if you guys are interested, we have, he's going to, yeah, he's scared of it, but we do have a plushie coming out of Gizmo. We're going to show an example of, of Einstein's. We got Einstein's plushie <laughs> here. Boy, give it a kiss. Give it a kiss. Thank you. Good boy. Aww, um, Gizmo's going to have his own plushie soon as well. We just got all the, um, we just approved all the stuff and got his audio file sent over. So they will be ready probably, they said in about two months. They'll be ready for pre-order. So they're not ready for pre-order yet, but they will be coming. And they will be a talkable one. So you'll be able to hear Gizmo saying, squawk off, who let the birds out in the a bunch of other good things. Yeah. Oh, Gibbs. Mom beats me. Yep, definitely. Mom beats me is on there. <laughs> Your magic cosmos. Fuck Carol Baskin. <laughs> <laughs> you jerk. I know. We kept. We kept. We kept Gizmo's clean this time, um, just because of the thing. But I really wanted to add some of his bad stuff in there. Too bad is like no switch <laughs> for kid friendly to adult. Yeah, right? Exactly. Adult awesome. version to the kid. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, Gizmo said a couple of choice words in the past. Still does sometimes. <laughs> I know. I don't, you know what? I don't encourage her. I know you guys don't either, but a lot of people, they get a little bit. It's like, why would you teach your bird that? Well, honestly, I didn't. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean, if they picked it up, um, I don't like. You know, of course, we're we're the parents, and we don't encourage it. We don't, right? Some people do encourage that kind, but yeah. I know we don't encourage that. Like, like I'm talking about you guys or us. Like we don't encourage that kind. They're of like thing. kids. Tod like they know. Like toddlers. That's why toddlers. A lot of toddlers end up saying them to test boundaries because exactly. these parents right. are just as intelligent. They kind of know the connotation of what these words are and they're like ooh that'll get attention so yeah, yeah they're smart and you only oh, have to say it are. once or for them to uh, pick up on that to be like oh that was fun <laughs> yeah. or the tv or they pick up from exactly the exactly yeah when people do that i just think wow do they actually live in a life where they never hear those words often because it's like it's it's just part of our culture almost nowadays these words yeah. you know just even if you don't want them in your life, they're there. <laughs> they're getting more and more approved, and like PG thirteen is now like rated R these days. <laughs> Everything's being more accepted. So, mm -hmm. 
That's so true. It is what it is, huh, Gibbs? And you're 18. You can yeah, say what you no. want. You're an 18 year old. You are of age. Yeah. You are of age. Taxes now. Yeah, guys. Look at your dusty beaky. All I right, need guys. to. I need to talk to you, Kyle. Too. I'm going to um, inbox you. Okay. Definitely. All right. Definitely. All right. All right. Thank All you, right. everybody, for joining Gizmo and Cosmo. Yes. Thank, thank you, you so much. We appreciate you guys. Bye, Gizmo. Yeah. We keep saying we're going to come back live when he's talking, but we forget. It's normally when we're eating. Yes. <laughs> or right at bedtime. Literally. Right at bedtime. He talks the most right at bedtime when we're all literally going to go upstairs oh. to bed. <laughs> and then we get Hay going, he should be in bed. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> he is in bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you take care. Yeah, thank we'll you, Cindy. See you soon. Yeah, message me, Cindy, and I'll get back to you. Yes, thank you. guys. Okay. Good night, guys. Good night. All right. Good night, guys. Thank you. Love all Bye. of you guys in the chat. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time. Good night. Thank you, Good everybody. Night. Bye.